What's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood French Canadian and today I'm going to teach you all about armor, armor stats, the damage negation, the other stats that it may affect and everything you need to know to optimize your build with a certain armor set. So I place armor sets in three specific categories. Now the first is the souls fashion category. So basically the armor sets won't give you a lot of boost in one specific stat. It won't change your stats. It won't necessarily protect you very well. It's just there to look cool, right? The second category will be the resistance armor sets. So these armor sets will protect you against a specific type of status damage that can affect you like frostbite, blood loss, poison, rot, all of that good stuff. And the third category is actually the armor sets or the armor pieces rather that will actually change your stats like your health, your mind, your endurance, all of that stuff. So most of the starting armor sets are actually in the souls fashion category because they don't add a lot of special stuff, they're just there to make sense with your build or your character because of the class you chose. Now sets that increase resistance to a certain damage type or status effect. These would be like your fingerprint set because it increases robustness a ton which is good against frostbite and blood loss. So basically you want to use this against enemies that do blood loss or frostbite and that will help you. Or for example, the armor I'm wearing right now, which is probably one of the best in the game, it has 159 immunity, 100 robustness, 130 focus, 120 vitality, but it has low poise. Now I'm going to get to what all these things mean, but I just want to show you the different types of armor sets first. Or you can wear something like the mushroom set, which although it might be very ugly, it has a high immunity. So let's say you want to go to the Lake of Rot. Well, you can put that on and it will take less time for your character to have the Scarlet Rot status applied to them if you're wearing that set because of the higher immunity. Now for armor sets that actually raise your stats, let me show you what I mean. For example, these helmets here. So in this game, what you want to do if you want more information on any item, whether it's armor or key items or things like that, all you got to do is click on X for Xbox or Square for PlayStation and you'll see a detailed description of that item. So if you see here in the second paragraph or the second sentence, it says increases intelligence to the detriment of stamina. If you look at the character status on the very right of the screen, you'll see the stats that it will change. Without the helmet, my character's intelligence is at nine, but with the helmet, it's at 12, but I also lose HP. Now there's not a lot of armor sets that do this or armor pieces that do this in this game, but there are a few specific ones, such as these ugly Burger King looking helmets right here. And also this imp head, the wolf version will give you more endurance, but it's also fugly. And in this house, we put souls fashion over everything. All right, so what are the damage types? What does it mean? There are two categories with this. There's damage negation, and there's resistance. So every armor will have those two categories. So damage negation is pretty straightforward. I won't go deep into it, but basically the higher it is, the more your armor will tank damage for you and the less damage your character will directly receive because of enemies attacking you. And as you can see, there's a category for every type of damage here. And the reason you don't see poison and rot and blood loss is because that is a status effect, which will be in the resistance section. So immunity says exactly what it means. Your character will be more resistant to things like scarlet rot and poison. Our robustness is directly linked to the other status effects like blood loss and frostbite, which means your character is less likely to be affected by blood loss if you're wearing a specific armor type that has high robustness, just like the fingerprint set. Now focus makes it so your character will be resistant to other status effects like madness and sleep. Which honestly we don't see a lot of in this game unfortunately, so it's a bit useless to be honest to try and bump up focus a lot. Vitality is directly related to the status called death, which then you get death blighted and you die <laughs> obviously. So that you can get that from uh, the basilisks, the really cute but annoying looking frog things. So poise is probably the most important one here, in my opinion. Poise is directly related to if your character gets staggered when an enemy attacks you. 
whether you're attacking or not. So if you want to be able to power through enemies' attacks and it won't like stop your combo, then you need high poise. Because you'll be able to poise through the hit, you won't get knocked back, you won't get staggered, you'll be able to continue the combo or the hit, and it's really helpful against mobs of enemies or even bosses. So there are certain armor sets that will help you in areas of the game or against specific types of enemies, and some that might even raise your stats, like the Burger King helmets, that we see a lot of mages running, but there are some negatives to it, like it takes away your health or your endurance, and that is why, my friends, we see a lot of mages get one shot by bosses. But anyways, totally not the point. In my opinion, unless you're having a really difficult time in a certain area of the game, you should really choose the armor sets that you think look nice and you think fit with your character. That is what we call a soul's fashion and that is the most optimal thing you can do in this game. So I really hope this was helpful for you guys. If you want more Elden Ring videos, there are plenty more on my channel. So have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll see you all very soon.